Hello everyone, this is Prashant Dalwani from internetzone.com. So today we'll be talking about the details about the admission into Amrita University. The examination is also known as A.E.E. 2017. So first of all, we'll be talking about the important dates. The application form for the examination is already available and will be available till 31st of March. The computer-based examination is scheduled to be from 20th of April till 23rd and the pen and paper-based examination will be on 29th of April. If you have already submitted the application form and you have opted for one of the modes of examination, you cannot change the mode to the other one. That is, you can't change from pen and paper to computer-based examination. The results for the examination will be declared on 5th of May. So now, if we talk about some of the frequently asked questions about the eligibility criteria and other stuff, so we'll do that quickly. First of all, the main eligibility criteria for admission into AEEE examination is that you have to secure more than 55% in each of physics, chemistry and mathematics. And as an aggregate, you have to score more than 60% in all the three. Apart from that, you will have to give the AEEE 2017. The rank of any of the national or state level entrance examination is not allowed. You will have to, in any case, give the entrance examination conducted by the Amrita University itself. So apart from these eligibility criteria, if you talk about some of the other details, you cannot change the examination center after submitting the application form once. Then talking about the examination pattern, the after this, now we'll be talking about the examination pattern. So, there will be a total of 100 questions. 40 questions will be from mathematics and 30 each from physics and chemistry. There is a provision of negative marking. So, if the candidate gives a correct answer, he will be awarded with 3 marks. And if he gives an incorrect response, he will be penalized with one mark. And if you don't attempt any question, you will not be given any mark. So that will be zero for that case. Candidates should be very careful while filling up the OMR sheet because once you put the wrong answer, you will not be able to correct it and multiple responses will be considered as an incorrect response. So you will be penalized with minus one mark. Mm -hmm. So now all these basic details are over. The examination syllabus will be mostly based on the JE main pattern so you can prepare according to that. That's all there is about A 2017 examination. So all the best for your examination. That's it from this video. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment and share. Thank you.